The spike in shootings has happened more than once this year in Omaha, but the number of guns on the streets is going down. That's the word from Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmatter. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Jake Wazikowski is live with the latest on that. Jake. Craig, I spoke with the Chief and Mayor Gene Stoller today about efforts to stop the violence. One major key is getting the guns off the streets, which has happened in huge numbers last month. Another 2015 spike in shootings. Almost a dozen shot or killed in about a two-day span last week. So far, outbursts have happened in January, May, and June. But Police Chief Todd Schmatter says their efforts have kept numbers down. From January to June 2015, gun assaults are on par with the three previous years and actually lower than the previous six-year highs. Chief Todd Schmatter says they focused major efforts on the gang conflicts and retaliation. But overall, it is very important that you streamline your policing functions to address your greatest need, which is gang and gun violence. One way is by taking guns off the streets before they're involved in shootings or violent crime. Chief Schmatter says in June, 79 guns were taken out of the hands of the bad guys. They'd either get them through burglarizing or robbing homes where guns are known to be stored or through straw purchasing. A straw purchase is when someone with a clean record buys a gun for a person with a criminal history. We have stepped up our presence and arrest that we have in the area of straw purchases, working cooperatively with the federal government and various sources to, to eradicate that aspect. We're seeing that far too often in the course of gang and gun violence. A straw purchasing example today as we learn the gun used by Marcus Wheeler to kill Officer Kerry Orozco was purchased for him by a girlfriend, Jamila Johnson, in Georgia. Another reason why police are aggressively going after these firearms. There are a number of case investigations that we have going on, Jake, right now that I'm confident um, an arrest will be made down the road. The chief also says the community's efforts have helped put people behind bars and continues to be a success. Reporting live in the News Center, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. And Omaha